Terrestrial incursion. This Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. That was the last transmission, sir. Patch me through to Voodoo 3 1. of a downed satellite, we now believe these objects to be extraterrestrial in nature. Shortly after impact, German officials received reports of mass hysteria and freak weather around one of the impact zones. Then things went dark. At 2100 hours, a chopper carrying a German military recon team went down in the area after they reported being fired upon. As you know, Germany is a member of the Council, and they have requested our assistance our mission is to assess the situation on the ground, ascertain the current status of the German recon team, and investigate the extraterrestrial objects. Central out. Central, this is Big Sky. Looks like we found the crash site. Roger, Voodoo 3-1. Any sign of activity? Negative. Nothing's moving down there. Okay. Set her down nearby.
Central. You getting all this? Copy that, Delta Squad. First things first. Let's get you out of the open and into cover. Whatever did this could still be out there. Delta One, take point. Take cover behind that debris directly in front of you. Good. Now advance to the vehicle nearby. Delta Two, your turn. Move up to the debris. That thing isn't going to offer you much cover, but it's better than nothing. There's full cover straight ahead. Advance to that position. Delta Three. Central, I have movement. 30 meters north of my position. Police vehicle. Roger. Proceed to the next vehicle for a better vantage point. Delta Four, go check it out. It's a long... Holy hell. What do you see, Delta Four? Report. Looks like one of the recon teams, sir. It looks like something. Is that your man, Delta Four? Negative, sir. That's someone else. Dr. Valen, what's he saying? He is saying, help me. That radio transmission is coming from somewhere north of the squad's current position, based on its strength, probably from inside a structure. Thank you, Doctor. Delta, advance and infiltrate that building. And remember, stay in cover. Central, I got a lot of blood here. Roger. Central, I think I just found another one of the recon team. Or what's left of him. But this doesn't make sense. Looks like he's been dead for a week. Even more perplexing is the cause of death. It appears that he was eviscerated when something burst out of him from the inside. Sir, I have visual on the object. Permission to approach. It's the only cover between you and that building. Permission granted. Talk to me, soldier. What is it? I got no idea what this thing is, but I can confirm that it's no satellite. Roger. All right, Delta Squad. You're almost to the building. Keep moving. Okay, people. Now let's get inside. Delta One, there's a window in front of you. Let's take a look. In position. Looks clear. Copy that. Get in there, and get to cover. Delta 2. That door's in our way. Take it down. Solid copy. Central, we have eyes on the target. He's armed. Copy, Delta-3. Okay, everyone. Get into position nearby, but do not approach. Doctor, see if you can communicate with him. Tell him to drop his weapon. I will try. Hello. Können Sie mich hören? Wir sind hier, um Ihnen zu helfen. Bitte lassen Sie Ihre Waffen fallen. He appears to be in shock. Keep your eyes open, people. I don't like the looks of this. Delta-3, move in and disarm him. Carefully. Damn it. Delta 2, your flank 2. Find some better cover. 
All right, Delta Two. Weapons free. Get ready to fire. Nice shot. Delta Four, you're freed up to move. Get out of there and get into cover. Now toss your grenade at the enemy in front of you. Coming in behind you. Damn it. It's just you now, Delta Two. Let's tip the odds in our favor. Look around for a position where you can flank the enemy. That's it. You have a clear shot from that position. Fire. Central, I think that's it. It's over. Roger that, Delta. Secure the bodies and head back to the Sky Ranger for immediate extraction. they are. They nearly took out a squad of our best soldiers. If you'll excuse me, doctors, the commander is waiting in mission control. Their technology is far beyond ours. Then I'd say our work is cut out for us, doctor. Welcome to XCOM HQ, commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Commander to the barracks. Com Commander. The soldier is waiting for- Only one recruit from Delta Squad made it back alive from our last mission, Commander. And I'd say a promotion is in order. As you know, Commander, every soldier is different. This particular soldier has shown an aptitude for heavy weapons. As he gains additional combat experience, we should continue his training along these lines. This soldier will now carry a rocket launcher, in addition to his standard weapon. The aliens won't know what hit him. Oh, Dr. Volan asked to see you in the research labs, Commander. It sounded important. Commander to the research labs.
on the mission site. Setting down. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continent. Hold on, soldier. Before you move out, let's see what's inside that building. Your squad mate is closer, so let him check it out. Good. Now open the door. Quietly, so you don't reveal your position to the enemy. Okay. Now take cover inside. Alright. Now I want a man on the roof of that building. See if you can find a way up there, soldier. your fire until I give the word. assuming command now as you sweep the rest of the area. As always, I'll be offering tactical advice as needed. And remember, your armor can only withstand a couple of shots from their weapons, so keep your eyes open and your heads down. Good luck. I've got a visual.
A veteran's rocket launcher should make easy work of the structure the aliens are using for cover. And if we're lucky, it'll take out the aliens along with it. That is, if it hits. Good work out there, Strike One. If I may, Commander, the left. in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar. But without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. The Situation Room provides constant monitoring of every member nation in the Council. If we allow panic levels to get out of control in any given nation, they're going to withdraw from the Council. Then they'll take their funding and additional support with them. The Council's overall confidence in the XCOM project is shown on the primary meter above the main screen, which engineering has nicknamed the Doom Tracker. Commander to Mission Control. Commander, Dr. Vallen reports that research is progressing in the labs, but it will still be some time before the project is complete. While we're waiting, our local satellite network has just come online, and we can now begin scanning for new activity. The process could take several days. The schematics for the nanofab vest are complete, Commander. Engineering is awaiting approval for Commander, fabrication. Engineering. Command. Fabrication. Commander to the barracks. New Commander items and weapons from engineering will always be delivered directly to the armory, Commander. Commander to the Situation Room. Commander to the Situation Room. has requested a word. Hello, Commander. We require your assistance with a unique matter. We expect that you will give it the same level of attention. China for the next operation. You're looking Take note of the extraction zone, people. As soon as Anna Singh has been located, you are to bring her back here for immediate evac. That alien is unusually human in its appearance. They could be using it as an infiltration unit of some kind. I'd recommend capturing it for further analysis.
me. There's just so many of them. They're everywhere. We have to get out of here. Commander, we should get the VIP back to the Sky Ranger as soon as possible. So many bodies in there. I just don't understand it. Force is headed your way, Strike One. Get ready.
Thank you. Oh my god. serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight, and the last ones out. Remember, we will be watching. The site is near the German border. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. This is Big Sky. We're just north of the crash site. Strike one is in position to engage. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Looks like the crash site is dead ahead. We should expect heavy resistance here. 
There's no telling how many hostiles were on board. Approach the craft with caution and attempt a breach if possible. still intact. They've got some kind of energy field protecting parts of the ship. We'll have to look for an opening.
impact like that, at such a velocity, the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. Our readings can't be right. If they were, that's a being of almost pure energy. The readings coming from that creature are like nothing I've ever seen. You can study it when it's dead, Doctor. Let's take that thing down.
this. Commander, I wanted to speak to you about our current fleet of interceptors. It's crucial that we keep several of these aircraft on high alert. We'll need them to intercept any future alien contacts, and it's likely we'll suffer some losses in the process. I think it's also worth mentioning that even a full squadron of interceptors will do no good against our enemy if we don't know where they are. Additional satellite coverage will be required before we are able to detect alien craft elsewhere on the planet. Visit us in engineering should you wish to build additional satellites. Goodbye, Commander.
current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. We've still got some room to grow up here, but if we really want to expand our facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. Selecting a specific jet within the hangar, you can choose to modify its current weapon loadout to best serve our needs.